Hi, welcome to Glow's Kendra Kitchen and I'm Glow. Well, today I'm making Sunday dinner and one of the things that I'm gonna be making is baked acorn squash. So um, let's go ahead and get started. I thought I'd show you one of the ways I do it. I went ahead and I cut this in half and I didn't cut it in half real well. This side is definitely smaller, but um, it'll work. So what you do is you scrape out the seeds that are in here and the strings. What I'm using is a grapefruit spoon fork because it has the little teeth on it. I don't know if you can see that, but it helps clean the acorn squash. This type of spoon comes in very handy. These squash are a little difficult to cut and um, they're hard. So here's the second one. I'm going to get the seeds out. But a baked acorn squash is so yummy. This is a great time of the year for it, be in the fall. What I'm doing is I'm trying to get as much of the strings out of it that I can, just like you would do in a pumpkin. So the next thing we're going to do is you can um, season this many different ways, but what I'm going to do today is very simple. I'm just going to put some butter in the bottom of each one of these, and then I'm going to be drizzling some real maple syrup over the top. I'm going to put a little water in the bottom of the pan, I'm going to cover it, and then bake it in the oven for about an hour at 350 degrees. So, look, there's one pat. And the second one I'm going to do a little bigger because this one obviously is bigger. We eat a lot of maple syrup, so I, um, we have, we buy it like this. We have it shipped to us from New York. We have it almost every day. It's very good. It's good for you, too. Oh, that's going to try and get away from us here. And it didn't win. It's going for it again. Yep, that should be plenty. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some water and put it in the bottom. I'm just going to pour that on the bottom. And that timer that you hear is I've got bacon in the oven right now baking because I'm going to be making a uh, hot German potato salad as well. So this is perfect timing. I'm going to put this in now. I've got my lid to put on it and away we go. So I'll be back in about an hour. Hi. Well, I just took these acorn squash out of the oven, and I've got to tell you, they smell delicious. It's going to show you how fork tender they are. Look at that. And what's down in there is the maple syrup and butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is going to be delicious. And we're serving this with um, some breaded pork chops and also a German potato salad. So anyway, we'll be back to taste test this after it cools off a little. And I'll see you in just a little while. Well, our acorn squash is done. And now it's time to taste it. Now remember, this just has maple syrup and butter on it. Oh. Oh. You guys, it's so good. Very soft and flavorful. 
Maple syrup goes really well with this. Oh. There's something about fall and eating foods like this. It's just delicious and so nutritious. If you haven't made an acorn squash, by all means, get one at the grocery store. They're not that much, they're not that expensive. I think this one was 99 cents a pound. So, um, oh, so good. Wish you guys were here to have dinner with us. This is delicious. Mm -mm -mm. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have, please give me a comment or a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do. We would really appreciate it. We'll talk to you later. Bye.